Hi, I'm Amy Maxwell, a professional pastry chef, and I'm going to teach you how to make a grasshopper pie. To start, we're going to make a chocolate crust. So you want to take 26 cream-filled chocolate shortbread cookies and put them right into your food processor. We're just going to grind this up to a fine crumb. I'm just going to dump those into a bowl. You are going to add three tablespoons of melted butter and two ounces of dark chocolate. And then just combine those. What you're going to do once it's all nice and incorporated is you're actually going to stick it into a pie tin and smush it around to give that nice layer. See, it's kind of, it's pliable and muddy, you kind of put it down and spread it out all the way to the top. Once you've done that, you're just going to stick it into the fridge so it gets nice and hard. So this is how you make the crust and then I'll show you how to make the filling. Now for the filling of our grasshopper pie, you're going to start with 12 ounces of softened cream cheese. Just put that straight into your KitchenAid with your paddle attachment. To that, we are going to add one cup of melted white chocolate I have here. Sweet. We're going to just get that going. Once this is nice and smooth, I'm just going to add a quarter cup of peppermint schnapps. You can also use creme de menthe, either one, and a quarter cup of a chocolate liqueur. This right here is what makes the difference between a grasshopper pie and a cream pie. Once that's all in there, we are going to fold in 1.5 cups of heavy cream that I've already whipped. And what this is going to do, it's going to take something that's really heavy and dense and then it's going to lighten it up drastically so it's more like a mousse. So you just want to take about a third of your whipped cream and aggressively fold it in. The first addition, you're not really caring to keep any of the air bubbles that you've put into your whipped cream. You're just trying to make it the same texture. With each other addition that you do of the whipped cream, you want to be less aggressive to kind of keep some of that air inside. So I'm just kind of folding it in. That's why it's called folding in whipped cream. With this last addition, I'm going to start to color it with some food coloring. That way I don't waste my arm strength. We're going to do, let's do three drops of green and one drop of blue. And because we're doing it early and we haven't finished folding all the way, we can kind of mess with it and make sure it's the right color that we want. Then we're just going to plop that right into our crust. And then you just want to stick it back in your fridge for about 30 minutes to get nice and sturdy. That way you can cut a piece of cake and it's not gonna flop all over your plate. All right, I'm Mandy Maxwell, and that's how you make grasshopper pie.